The difference between a ordinary CV and a great CV is how many projects and what are the type of projects they have done. So if you could do the all trending project of VLSI then probably your CV will stand out. So in this video I gonna discuss few trending or common projects which must be in your CV so that your CV stand out among the crowds. So hey new people myself Rasdeep and I keep on making such kind of videos so if you are interested in this VLSI domain then please consider subscribing my channel. And yes if you are excited for this topic then please like this video. So I have divided these projects in three categories. First would be the beginner level then the medium level and then the third the advanced level also in the later part of video i'll show you few great projects idea or few git repository from where you can replicate your projects and also don't miss the last part of video because i have two bonus points and category one projects are for those who have never done any project till date in general a btech first or second year guy but no issue if you are in your third or fourth year of your btech and you are still find yourself in this category then it's great to start now than never so why we do any projects the main objective of doing any projects yeah we need to make our hand dirty but the exact meaning is that we need to know that concept perfectly that's why you do any projects so in any interview if you go as i said many times that cmos inverter will be there so if you are in your beginner level if you haven't done any project till date then the number one project would be your cmos inverter designing a cmos inverter in the schematic and then get the all the graphs and from there synthesize or draw your layout manually don't use any automation and then get the waveform of that layout also compare both of them you will get the difference in the both of them result try to know why this difference is coming note down everything and to help you out there are many books which already explain why there is a difference between schematic result and a layout result you need to prove this thing through your this project and it will take time but no issue you have 30 days to complete this project and this is a digital domain project but yet it will help you to understand the analog world of cmos inverter so this is recommended for anybody applying for analog profile or a digital profile you must need to do this thing and to add on your theory of mosfet or to build your analog skill more deeply you must do a project on mosfet characteristic analysis what does it mean any book you open your mosfet you will find out there would be few curves and here through this project you need to prove that yeah this curve actually exists and don't worry to help you out because you are starting out i have a great repository git repository for you and this is by my friend mayank i'll give you the link in the description so don't forget to check description and this is actually a great repository you can have all the detail here how he have started the things and here in the first column he actually explain what the tools he is using and what they are doing how to install them and everything and after that what he is doing he is doing characterization of the mosfet or the device and see these curves i was talking about and after doing all of this thing he started with his inverter in the schematic first these are the graphs and after that he also tried to find out the power dissipation of cmos inverter dynamic power dissipation static power dissipation they are very important topic but you have 30 days man in 30 days you can do this thing if you know nothing also you can start reading about cmos inverter from day one to day, day zero and by day 30 you can exactly get your own cmos inverter grid repository and repository is just a thing a documentation thing but in your mind you will be having all those theory in this repository he haven't gone through the layout portion but this is a add-on for you and hey if you give me 200 likes in this video then i promise you i will help you with a detailed video on how to create this project for you so this is for the beginner level projects and trust me beginner level are only saying but this actually must do project this will help you to excel in any interview i think i am saying it three times in this video only so you might know how much important it is don't neglect it hey it's beginner level so i don't want to do it i'll do medium and advanced level don't do this thing 
do this thing first so in the medium level what are there we have two domain digital domain and analog domain for analog it's sure shot design a open and during designing an open you can fix many things like what is the gain of this open what is the bandwidth uh, if i do this tweak bandwidth will increase if i do that tweak bandwidth will decrease like this type of thing you need to do and you need to make a documentation in the git hub why because anytime you have an interview you can just go to your github and see what you have done earlier and also in during the interview you can direct them to your github repository or in the cv also you can give the link of your github so that they know yeah you are the person who have done these projects and to know more project about opam you can really see this course and which is by hardik pandeya yeah originally his name is hardik pandeya by iic bangalore uh, course name i forgot i'll display it here so you can register for this course or in the youtube it is available for free you can go and you can watch all the courses for digital portion you can go for a full adder if you have done your cmos inverter from there only you just need to propagate to a next level to generate your full adder after you have done with your full adder you can go for a ripple carry adder and here also you can do it like in a schematic like drop down get the web Form, or you can also write a very low code here for this and from very low code get your result and synthesize that very low code to your schematic and after that please go up to the layout many people most of the people don't go up to the layout i don't know why but if you go up to the layout only then you will know the nitty gritty of the theory actually so in the medium level also please go up to the layout the layout will take your time but it's very important there are some other great projects also you can try like, like designing a flip flop designing a counter designing a multiplexer and many things so in the beginner level 30 days and in the medium level 60 days and why so much days are required because i'm considering you don't know the theory or you know the theory but you forgot the theory so in the first five to ten days you need to remember the theory and after that you need to go and do the projects so see from 30 to 60 in 90 or in three months or today's january by april last you will be having two three projects in your cv and they are really great projects and they are trending or they are common projects and yes medium level are for all the btech students from second year onward to your final year and also if you are in your mtech and you have, if you haven't done anything don't shy away do this so in advanced level you can also consider this as your btech major project or mtech major project but again i won't be recommending you because your professor your guide will be knowing better but still you can suggest this type of project so here one project would be a great project and in the digital domain and that is designing a memory and here dear, designing a memory don't mean only designing a memory a mem memory block also have the interface like a decoder encoder sense amplifier you probably will be knowing about all these things if you read about the memories but if you have not much of time then you can just go for the main nuclear block of the memory like for a SRAM it is a 60 memory cell or you can try out some experimental basis of memory block like 70 memory block what does t 70 means 60 means i'll be using six mosfet to design one bit of memory and if you can search in the ieee journal you will find a tons of memory block experimental memory block you can try to design them in the schematic get their read write waveform their speed of writing and all those figure of mate which you can find out and after that go up to the layout and from layout also try to get the same thing as in the schematic then you can try a small risk five ways processor in the very log obviously and if you have time you can synthesize it to up to layout for making a major project and if you want to try your hand in the mix signal then you can design some data converter adc dac you can find out many examples in the online so don't worry and for the analog domain you can design lnn low noise amplifier heterodyne receiver heterodyne receiver could be your mtech ma major project actually mine mtech ma major project was a heterodyne receiver and in heterodyne receiver you have many things actually you need to design a mixer you need to design a if amplifier you need to design 
antenna if required so there are many things and it's a really advanced level project so don't try out without doing other projects there are some other great analog projects also like designing a bco that is very common or designing a pll those are very common in pll actually we have a full-blown nptl course also so if you are interested to be an analog design engineer you can try out that course in the nptl and to help you out with some more advanced level projects here you will find out many example and these are really advanced level so in the beginning don't try out this uh, course uh, projects and they have some cons because they are advanced level so they are a huge projects and that's why they use some automated tool like open LED they are using here and if you in the beginning only try to build anything from open lane or eSIM then you won't be knowing the exact things so that's why in the beginning try out building them through an individual idea tool like for a schematic you will use a tool then for generating at least you will use other tool actually i have one video already so you try out that video like the things i have said in that video during your first few projects after that you can go for this open link like you need to go there and every details are there actually in their repository they have given all the detail like how they have installed open lane how open lane is working and in future if i get many likes i'll also try out myself to help you out with detailed video so don't worry so you can scroll down and there are many projects i'll give you the link in the description so as promised what are the bonus points so in bonus point one would be if you have time you are in your btech third year or less than third year right like you have time then please buy a fpga board if in your lab they have the fpga board then it's great if they don't have or you want a personal fpga board please buy it out and anytime you do a very low code or very log based project try to feed it to your fpga board and try to see if it is replicating what you wanted and bonus point two would be again if your college don't have the ieee subscription then please buy a subscription one year subscription in my time it uh, took around one thousand and half now overall it, it would be two thousand let me know in the comment section if it got increased that's all for this video i'll see you in your next video and give me 200 likes and i'll start uploading the project's videos